guys, this is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot here to do your collective weekend reading. Hope you are all doing well. Oh, we've got some jumpers here. Um, if you're new to my channel, please do click like, share, and subscribe. Um, and yeah, this is going to be a collective reading for all signs. Uh, Aries through Pisces, so keep in mind some of the messages may or may not resonate. So this is going to be for the weekend, beginning from the time that you're listening to this video all the way through August 7th. All right, let's take a look what's going on here, you guys. So you've got Ten of Cups. So some of you might be attending attending a reunion. There might be a homecoming, a family party, a get together kind of thing. Um, I'm just what's that sound? I'm just picking up like a lot of um, fun um, family kind of stuff. Whether that's like actual family or if it's people who are your like soul tribe there's a connection here okay some of you might be connecting with so we have the word marriage so it's just it could be actual uh your partner or your, your that you're married to there's there's like a joy a joyous reunion for some of you it's just marrying people together and um it's just it's a very happy kind of a gathering okay a lot of stability um, it's just a lot of joy, satisfaction, contentment here. Okay, over the weekend. Let me see what else is coming up. What else do you need to know? It just looks like something's going to be very positive and have um, a lovely emotional effect on you. Okay, uh, it was stability and security, long term relationships. So it feels like it's going to be um, a, just a really lovely, nice thing that you will have occurring over the weekend like a, it could be a birthday party um that you're going to it's some type of connection a lot of family over the weekend okay even if it's just one family member okay let me see what else do you have oh wow you've got the four of swords interestingly enough these cards have um things written on it and I don't agree with what's a lot of the things that are written on here um, because it has fear and anxiety, uh, stress and feeling overwhelmed. I know what they're talking about, um, but this card actually represents rest, relaxation, peace and quiet, sanctuary, regrouping, um, recuperation. We have reunion. So this could be like a restful it's a re it's a redo it's a restful there might be some anxiety or stress or feeling a little overwhelmed or some mental overload so and needing some solitude so it might be like um spending some time with family over the weekend but then but not too much because <laughs> you know <laughs> it's family right <laughs> we don't want to like stay all day so this might be but for others this might be a restful relaxing type of connection over this weekend with a or some family members okay um, this four of swords can represent healing so this might be somewhat of a healing kind of thing oh wow and now you've got the knight of cups a romantic proposal coming in over the weekend there's offer as well an invitation there's some invitation you might receive an invitation um, from someone um, chivalry being swept off your feet feeling charmed um, there's someone coming in attraction someone asking to go on a date affection warmth gentleness this is a lovely weekend for you creative expression also here an opportunity to create yourself or express yourself creatively this is lovely you might be making a love offer to someone as well. There's a proposal, maybe a uh, or an, an invitation that you you make to somebody. It's it's lovely. So on the okay, wow. So we have Pisces, Libra, Scorpio, and Sagittarius thus far. So it, this feels like Friday, okay, the fifth. This is the energy playing out on the fifth. Now Saturday, Temperance is here. So this is inner calm tranquility and har harmonious relationships soulmates connecting with soulmates or a soulmate okay let me see here all right so we've got the king of cups flying out here so 
You could be connecting with a King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, male or female energy. Um, this is like someone who connects, is, uh, they're very romantic, charming, devoted, family oriented, generous, mature. Okay, there's peace with the King of Cups on Saturday. Okay, now it could be you, you could be a water sign, there could be peace within self and feeling balanced within self on Saturday. Could be some drinking, you could be at a bar having some drinks. Um, it's very cuppy energy so it's there's a lot of um i'm feeling relaxation and fluidity here with people there's serenity so maybe there's like hey bartender mix me a couple drinks getting in a really like relaxed you know balanced feeling balanced okay yeah and then there's so much water energy in this reading it's crazy um and then you've got the Eight of Cups here. So this is like a letting go. There's escapism, but there's also withdrawal on Saturday and maybe a little bit of disappointment. And I'm not sure why, because everything looks great. Friday, everything looks nice on Saturday, but there might be some kind of, um, a moving on energy, a feeling of abandonment or abandoning some plans on Saturday, okay? Escaping, re reaching a limit, and then withdrawing. Maybe out of disappointment? Why? What's going on here? And needing to balance yourself. Oh, okay. Hmm, stalemate, truth, sitting on the fence. Dif there's a difficult decision. It looks like... There's a walking away. There's a moving on. A decision being made to move on from something. Wow, there's grief and loss. What the hell? This reading just took a turn for the worst. Okay. <sighs> hmm. Listen, if this is you, if you're showing up here as this King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, you might be feeling like someone has abandoned you or walked away or are left. Okay. You might be feeling like that. You might get a sense of heartbreak and trying to balance yourself. That's why I, maybe because I, I said something about drinking. So maybe you're kind of like just going to take a couple drinks, try to relax. Yeah. There's something going on here or there may even be you making a decision that you're not going to do something on Saturday, okay? Um, that you're going to change your mind um, or that you don't feel up to it. You might feel like with this Five of Cups that you don't feel good is what I'm saying. You might, you might just be kind of in grief or just feel despair or just make a decision here. It's a difficult decision for you for something on Saturday. Being torn between two things. And it feels like um, you can't, I mean, so there's divided loyalty. I feel like you want to be loyal to something. But on the other hand, you want to be loyal to yourself and you don't, you can't you're trying to find a balance where you could be loyal to something external to you and then loyal to yourself at the same time i feel like yourself is kind of like i don't want to do something and then but you want to be loyal to everybody else or whatever else is external to you because they want you to do something but you don't you're like you're stuck you got like some issue here happening okay um now it could be, it may not be you, it could be somebody else who's abandoning some plans or is making a difficult decision to walk away from something, okay? It doesn't mean necessarily walk away from you, but walk away from something. And since this is a collective read, I don't know if, you know, this could be you, this King of Cups, but it might not be. It could be another person. Let me take a look here. Huh. Okay. So we have Pisces, 
Cancer, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Libra, Virgo. Okay. Patience. Hmm. There's patience here. You need to be, I feel like you need to be patient with yourself over something on Saturday. You need to be like really patient and really good to yourself because you've got some kind of difficult decision that you're making here. And this might be just as something simple as like somebody asks you to help them um, pick up a couch and bring it into their place. They got a new couch and they need some help. Or somebody asks, if, you know, if you could drive them somewhere. It's like, I don't know if you don't feel well or you might not be feeling up to doing it, but you might have already told this person, yes, that you would help them with something. And now you can't help them, but you feel like you're letting somebody down. But at the same time, if you do it, then you're going to be letting yourself down. Okay. So that's, that is the gist, the overall, you're trying to please yourself and please others at the same time and it's not going to happen and that's what you are doing trying to find a balance to that how can I make everyone happy and make myself happy and and the fact remains that you cannot okay you, you just can't you have to put yourself first <clears throat> you know I mean if if you're not feeling up to something you know, I, I mean, you have to take care of your needs, but then there's always the sacrifice. But it, you know, if, if you're able to find a way to make it up to somebody or, um, you know, or help them find someone else to help them, you know, um, in order to, uh, you know, save face for yourself. Yeah, I feel like this is just a difficult decision. Okay, there's a king of swords here. So you could be also a Libra. Um, you have to stand in your truth. What's going to work for you? Or you could be connecting with another um, person. Um, they could be a Sagittarius <clears throat> as well. Um, but the King of Swords uh, is very rational and um, pretty cool. And I feel like if, if this is someone that you need to tell them that you're just not up to something, they'll be cool with you about it. They'll be like, yeah, that's cool. That's fine. Not a big deal. Okay, they'll be very logical and understanding and discerning. They'll have the, they'll be willing to have a conversation with you. Okay, um, even if this is about a relationship that's breaking up or you, you're going to end something or move away or move on from a relationship. Hold on, you guys. Yeah, I feel like this person, as long as you're truthful and you say, you know, I, I need to... Um, make a change here this is not what i want to do this is not something i can do they will be as long as you're open honest and truthful with them and you tell them give that clarity i feel like they'll be okay with that okay whether it's a relationship or <coughs> excuse me or um a friendship or something that you <coughs> Are hesitant about doing it's a stalemate yeah you have a lot of stress and anxiety about this let me go back up because I'm being called back up to look at Friday's reading okay so there's a reunion on oh, okay there's a reunion on Friday that's actually it was looking good but there's a tower here there's a sudden upheaval or an unexpected change to some kind of reunion or a connection let me see here on Friday. Whew. Wow, justice is here. That might be why there's a little bit of um, fear and anxiety. You're getting some kind of truth. Okay, so it feels to me, listen to me. I don't know who I'm talking to, okay? It feels to me like there are... There are plans being made, and they are being made um, without intention to follow through. Or universe is like interceding and saying, "No, I don't don't think this is going to be." Or you are interceding and say, "I don't think I, I, this is something I can do." Okay, yeah, I don't feel like. This is kind of like with that tower card, this, there could be actually 
a, a, a weather event that could keep a, a reunion or a family event happening over the weekend okay um, it doesn't have to be weather you know the tower is just something that like an upheaval or something gets canceled as well like the intentions were kind of like good um, but there might be a legal thing here also that happens it's a very strange message okay and there's like with this knight of cups showing up where there's there might be a love offer that comes in that um, prevents you from some of you might make plans to help somebody or do something and then love walks in and it's like oh no, no, no I'm sorry can't make it love love just walked in and this is like what I want to do <laughs> because I kind of feel like you you might get like a romantic offer or proposal over the weekend when you've got plans to do something and you're weighing it out like you know am I going to help my person get the moving truck and help them move their stuff or am I going to go meet this person who's really someone that you know okay the six of cups and the two of cups so there might be like um yeah you're gonna find love or there's an attempt or desire to find love at some kind of reunion or connection partnership <clears throat> um <laughs> And you might actually decide, no, I'm not going to do that reunion. I'm just going to go off with this love partner. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. It's really strange. And, and it could lead to Saturday that something is like, no, that's not going to happen. It's very weird. Let me just get out of that. I want to take a look at Sunday's messages here. Okay. There's a soulmate, though. There's definitely a soulmate energy showing up on Friday. Um, some of you might have plans for Friday to connect with family and stuff. And then you might decide, you know, no, I'm going to connect with my lover or this someone from your past. Okay, Sunday, though. Sunday, you've got choice. There's a decision on Sunday being made. What is this decision? Whew. Ace of Cups. Wow. The world. Wow. Okay. There's a decision being made to embrace an opportunity that's coming in, a golden opportunity um, to be successful, accomplished, maybe travel, um, have that sense of belonging, okay? There's, 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 uh, there's an option here. I feel like, okay, the grass is always greener on the other side, but this grass on the other side is actually, gr is, is not false green, it's not turf, it's real green grass. There's somebody here on the other side of you who has been nurturing, watering, nourishing their grass. It's the real deal. It's a good thing. And you have a decision here. Do I stay or go? Sunday, you're making a major decision about whether to... Um, you've got the world. So walk away or join someone in their world leave your world combine worlds a, a world you might live in um so we have aries virgo capricorn so there's somebody th there's a desire here for you to be independent successful financially stable um to be thriving <clears throat> you make it um, a financial um opportunity as well or a new job and a decision you could be making here it might come in on sunday and this decision i'm picking up emigration you could be traveling to a foreign land or making a decision you may have been waiting for something for some time to come in and the opportunity comes in for you to go and travel and um <clears throat> we've got like this is full circle here okay so have a full circle thing for yourself right and and i'm not it's not strong with love there's a there's a full circle decision here for independence and material wealth um that's being single single solo pleasures as well let me get a little more clarity this feels like your independence okay hmm
full circle coming home. Okay, some of you might be going home, um, feeling welcome, community, family coming together, community spirit, teamwork, success, you know, building a foundation. This could have to do with, but it's mostly with community. So you might be leaving or thinking or, or waiting for an opportunity to leave and join a community where you feel um, or where you're hoping that you will feel like this is where you belong, a sense of belonging. Okay. Yeah. I feel like you're going, you're traveling or you're doing something. It's coming up. <clears throat> And this uh, Ace of Pentacles is prosperity. This is uh, maybe a new new business, money, or an investment, new job that's coming up here. Okay. So you, I feel like Sunday, like you've been waiting. Like we, even this person here has got the world card there in their hand, you know, or the world in their hand. It's like travel. This is like going, this is distance, maybe across water. Okay. So, yeah, your reading is very interesting. Okay, you've got the emperor here. <clears throat> this represents someone who is like a CEO or the boss of something. This person is going to have a huge influence or effect on your financial and material success in your profits, your stability. Could be a father figure, could be a connected, um, maybe fun, send some funds or does some funding for you, or there's just the emperor can represent like a CEO or someone. This this feels very career-ish on Sunday. You're, you're going to get, you're going to hear back, um, or you're going to get an opportunity, potential for abundance and, and career and job. It doesn't really feel like a love thing. Some of you might be deciding to leave your family and go do something here it's it's huge it's huge and you've got like a mentor or someone that's going to be helping you okay so your weekend energies are kind of like all over the map and i'm sorry about that <clears throat> and a lot of different messages come through so i would encourage you to just go play it backwards i'm not backwards oh my god that's weird go replay it I just want to get a couple of more <clears throat> my moon pie messages here for you. Uh, just get a little more clarity for Friday. Okay. Stand your ground. Okay. You have to stand your ground with something on Friday. Okay. Definitely. So it, it, it just feels like there's something that's happening over the weekend that you kind of want to do, but you don't want to do it, but you might be in this place where you feel like you have to. But what you really want is to have a love connection with someone. And that seems to be like more important. And that's what you're going to make a priority. There could be somebody returning from your past to try to connect with you in that loving, you know, romantic kind of way. Soulmate. Okay, good vibes here. Stand your ground. Positive vibes. When you stand your ground, you're free. When you, when you stay in your truth, you're free. Okay, sun energy. Leo energy. The energies are strong and powerful and it's just love your life you need to stand your ground and love who you are and love your life do something fun on friday enjoy yourself okay best that you can okay wealth health and abundance beautiful so it feels like you're kind of like You have a reunion or a connection with family members or people who bring you joy and happiness. And there is a possibility that that might not work out either because, you know, the universe comes it down and dictates or there's like an event that happens, an unexpected change or some kind of disaster uh, just happens like, oh, this is a disaster. This isn't going to work out. And it's like, no, I just want to connect with a lover like... I just want to, there's somebody from your past Friday that you want to connect with. I, I don't know if this event, you might not even have a good time or connecting with family. If you're at a party or, you know, like with your, your family members, there's a tower moment. Okay. So deeply loving male. Okay. There could be, um, it's weird. Wait. Yeah, that's twice. Deeply loving male in my deck, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. That could be you or somebody that you could be reconnecting with over the weekend. <coughs> Specifically on Friday. Let me see what the messages here are. 
Why is this card in here? These two cards. Okay. Messages for Saturday. Okay. Wow. Transition. The end of suffering is upon you. Out with the old, in with the new. Yeah, this is what's going on here. There's change. So I feel like um, with this Wheel of Fortune, there's change here. So something that... Um, I just feel like Friday and Saturday is kind of similar energy. I just feel like there's something that you're going to say, no, I don't want to do something here. Yep, test of faith and boundaries. You don't want to do something here. Look at you. There's the boundaries. You have to put up your boundaries. That's your. That's where your growth will happen. You're going to make some kind of decision to walk away from something. Okay. Um, and you have to tell somebody. And I think they're going to, as long as you give them the truth, I think they're going to be okay with this. But it's stressing you out because you really don't want to say, no, I'm not going to join you. No, I'm not going to do this. Um, because it's out of nature for you. I think sometimes you might just don't want to disappoint. But I feel like you're going to have to. But you're not going to disappoint. I feel like it maybe it's just a fear. Okay. Let me see what is the energy here on Sunday because there's this offer coming in. Oh, take a risk. What have you got to lose? Starting over can be tough, but it's time to spread your wings. Don't overthink this. Yeah, so whatever this offer is that's coming in on Sunday or sometime around there, um, you might even get it over this weekend. It could be the reason, the catalyst for this thing not going forward. But whatever this thing is that comes in, which we're picking up on Sunday, to, to this opportunity you got to go for it you have to go for it you got to do it and it might feel like starting over but no this is a good thing for you <clears throat> okay look head of household there this is even you bossing up for real taking your power back in your own you know your career in your life your finances your independence Head of household, take charge of your divine masculine energy. A father figure guides you, striving for respect, dignity, and power, and influential male supporting you. Okay, wow, that's twice. Okay, family celebrations, wedding, engagement party. This is the community. This is my community card now. The spirit is just com confirming everything that I'm seeing here. There might be... Um, a celebration to celebrate this good news for you as well okay um, with family or a community or people you know um, this could be like um, a send-off you know good luck on your you know whatever you're doing here if you're traveling the world or whatever it is you know people celebrating you okay so it's it's very nice it, it feels like you know when this opportunity comes in there might be like, let's, we're going to have a party. Now, for some of you, this, I will say, this opportunity could be marriage for some of you. It may not be a career. Okay. Some of you might be set in your careers. Maybe you're getting ready to, to retire. This could be, for some of you, it could be a birthday party over the weekend, um, a father's birthday or connecting, um, maybe a brother or uh, or getting an invite or something that you're going to go to but it's like joyousness okay there's a, there's a decision being made here some of you might even be deciding to have a reunion with um a partner someone that you were married to or in a committed relationship with also there could be also a traveling a returning home a reunion as well for some of you okay so we do have a little bit of career playing out it could be both, both of these energies playing out at the same time. This could be you getting in a position. Um, maybe you've been single and now you're you're connecting with someone who's in that emperor energy. Okay, could be a father of your children as well. Um, but there's, I will say overall, there's a golden opportunity coming in here for you. And it could be in love and it could also be in career. So take both of those into account for the weekend. All right, I'm going to leave that rating there. Like I said, if it's a little all over the map just go back and replay it a few times remember friday saturday sunday the reading is being uh, uploaded on the august 4th but this is going to be for the 5th through the 7th all right you guys i will see you guys next week have a great weekend take care